Hello everyone. In this episode I want to show you how to save out a morph that you've created on any of the Genesis figures and how to package it up so that you can go and share it with people. Now this is something that I've had a question on for so many times I thought yeah we really need a video on that. So two quick remarks before we get going. Full disclosure I'm not a content creator. I don't do this for a living but I do know my way around the basics. If there are other steps to it then you know uh, don't take my word as the gospel. This is something that works for me. Just wanted to you know, say that up front. Number two, make sure you obey the legality of such endeavor. So I cannot take 50% of Victoria and 50% of Angela, save it and say, this is my morph, can I have 30 bucks now, please? That is not legal. That, that You can't do that. So you can only share stuff legally that you've actually created from scratch, either from merchant resources, that is okay, or if you've made something yourself, that's also okay. But you cannot redistribute stuff that isn't your own obviously goes without saying but i thought you know i best um i best i best mention it somewhere so imagine i had done something like this so i've imported a morph here and uh this is exactly what you shouldn't really be sharing but imagine this is my custom morph now underbelly and I've made Underbelly for Genesis 9. And I'm thinking, hey, this is awesome. I want to go and, uh, you know, if it wasn't Underbelly, I, will go, I want to go share it. This is how I do this. So two things to the puzzle. First, I want to go and take care of my slider. Currently, it's in Morph's Morph Loader. And that's really not a good place for it. It should really be where it's appropriate. So I think in this case, it should probably be more like actor. And then we have people here. And then under people, we have masculine. So I'm thinking he's probably going to be good in this section here. Number two, I currently can do something with my slider that isn't great. So I can go and dial it up to 100%, but I can also go into the negative. So that is probably not the figure I want to share. So let's take care of that first before we go and save it out. So that's done under the little gear icon here. Click that, hit over to parameter settings and then on this dialog here we can go and change the minimum value to zero that's number one and then number two is that the name here and the label you may want to fix that especially for distribution so the label is what's shown here on the slider but the name is what that studio uses under the hood to save out the file name and also to kind of slot it into the hierarchy of many many other morphs so commonly this is done and i'm not entirely sure about the details commonly this is done by prefixing it with what it is so in my case it's a full body morph so i'd say fbm underscore and then follow followed by my initial, so JV in that case, followed by the actual name that it is. So there may be other things depending on what it is, could be like a joint correction morph, or you know, there might be other things that, that need to go in here. I'm not entirely sure about that. I might just go and save it as this, FBM JV underbelly nine. And this is just so that if there is another underbelly nine morph that my thing isn't overwriting that or causing any kind of other issues. So it should be unique. Anything that makes it unique, perfect. Now, another thing that we can take care of here is the path. So the path is the thing that shows where this morph slider will show up. So currently mine is under morphs morph loader, but we already said that it's probably going to be better under actor people masculine. And if I do that, then this is going to magically, the whole category here is going to disappear, the morphs category, and it'll just slot right in there. You can do other embellishments. You can pick a different color. Maybe we'll do that. Put something maybe blue so that it stands out from the crowd a little bit. And then we hit accept. And now that whole morphs category has gone away. And if I navigate to actor, people, masculine, I have my underbelly morph now. And that doesn't go under zero anymore. So that's, that's kind of cool. So assuming I've taken care of all the ERC freezes and all that, let's see how we can go and save this out. So that's kind of a three-part process, really. Uh, first, we need a brand new folder on our hard drive. So let's create one. I'm going to go and do this on my desktop here. Brand new folder. And I'm going to call it, I don't know, maybe my morph. It really doesn't matter because it doesn't play into how you're going to distribute it later. It's just, you know, something, a temporary location that you can remember. So my morph on the desktop. So in Dash Studio on the content library, then let's go and map that as a new directory up here under where it says Dash Studio format. So right click on that and say add base directory. 
and then that was on my desktop my morph perfect let's go select the folder and now there's an empty folder in here and we're not really going to save anything in here but Dash studio is going to use that in a moment namely when we head over to file save as support asset morph asset this is how we get the morph out this is how we get the morph saved out and when you do that another dialog comes up that looks a little bit intimidating and it has implications so i thought i want to tell you about you know what's what's going on here so the first line asset directory that's fairly important because this is where we can select the directory into which the morph goes so i can't use or i shouldn't use my dash 3d library here or any of my other runtimes i'm going to go and select the empty folder that i've created here's this one here my morph that's the one then under vendor name this is you know my name or my brand under which i want to sell and the product name is just something unique that is unique in regards to you know what i'm doing so think of this as a folder structure that will be created by Dash Studio in a minute. It'll all be in the data directory. And under my vendor name, there'll be another folder with the product name. So I'm going to call this one, I don't know, underbelly, just as an example here. And that is that. So this is taking care of the hierarchy of where that's being saved. Now I need to tell Dash Studio what morph or morphs I actually want to save out. So I can save multiple if I wanted to. Mine is under Genesis 9 actor full body people no it's not actually not correct is it it's under people and then masculine and here we have underbelly but i could select multiple morphs if they are included with my product so quite commonly if you're a clothing creator and you do this and you have like 20 adjustment morphs in your product then you could select all 20 and they'll all be saved at the same time or updated at the same time that is it now hit accept and Dash Studio is going to take care of that there's nothing in this folder here or user facing in this folder that's quite common with morphs but when you look at the directory itself then you can see that in that empty folder Dash Studio has created a data folder in which we have a Dash 3D folder in which we have a Genesis 9 folder in which we have a base folder in which we have a morse folder in which we now have my vendor name under which we now have the product name under which we finally find the actual file but this structure is necessary for Dash Studio to detect is this a valid morph that belongs with the Genesis figure you can't just share this file you have to share it as part of this long folder structure and that's something you know very important to understand so to share this now I need to go back to the top level of my new folder and select everything that's in here like in this case it's only a data folder but you could use this as part of a product if you had something like post files they would go into here as well if you had textures they would go into a similar crazy structure so usually commonly something like a new folder that's called runtime textures followed by your vendor name followed by your product name and that's where you ditch all the textures in and then you map them and then you save out a material preset for example and a material preset you'd save out on something like people genesis 9 then clothing then your vendor name then your product name and then materials that's usually where they go or poses same thing so you'd create that hierarchy yourself here or through das studio but since we don't have any of that we only have this you just select anything that's in here and then right click and choose send to compressed zip folder you can also use other things other tools that you have here like the uh, seven zip for example but make sure it's only the contents inside this folder so don't go out and take that folder here the my morph folder and zip that up because that can't be extracted into an existing library structure so you have to go into the folder and whatever is inside that folder select that zip that up and then let people extract it into their own libraries and that's really all there's to it. So just to prove a point that now that we've saved it out, let me go and remove my Genesis figure here and load a new Genesis figure in. And we'll see that my morph dial will come back. There it is under parameters. Masculine, there we go. It's already in actor people masculine there's underbelly and it works quite well so now notice what happens if i go and remove this if i go and take this directory away again so i just right click on it and say remove base directory and then i'll go and load my genesis figure 
and find under parameters i have people i have masculine but there's no morph here so the way that studio works is if it finds morphs that are valid in any of the mapped content libraries it will go and load it in and if that's not the case that morph doesn't get loaded so i hope that helps clarify how to save your morphs and how they actually why they get saved the way they get saved and how you can then go and uh, just redistribute them now once again legality of that make sure you only share the stuff that is actually yours otherwise you're going to get into massive trouble so das and other content marketplaces will take things down that are not legal you may also have to include something like a license file but that'll depend on the marketplace where you share these things i hope this was helpful and i hope i'll see you in the next video take care